Today I'm going to review and test another LED headlight by Hikari, the 2023 Titan Nova. I'll tell you right now, this is the best overall premium light I have tested so far. And why do I say that? I'll show you. Hello everyone and welcome to Car Light Reviews. If you've never been here before, I perform consistent automotive light tests to help you make the best purchase decision, enjoy your car better, and save you money. Now I've tested Hikari lights in the past. I started with their Eye of Megatron, now known as the Thunder, LED headlight in my 15-way LED headlight shootout that I did on my other channel in Jason's Garage a couple of years ago. And it did well, but I don't think it really lived up to the hype. And then I tested the 2022 Hyperstar previously on this channel, Carlite Reviews, and it did do better than the Thunder, but also consider that it's an all-in-one design, and while it did well compared to other all-in-one units, I think for the money, there are better choices. Now you can see all the details in my previous videos, or compare all of the specs and test results in my free spreadsheet that I update with every video. I'll put links in the description of that. Now here is the Hikari Titan Nova, which the full name of it is Hikari 2023 Future Titan Nova, but it seems that many of you who have asked in the comments of my other videos to do a review on this one, you just call it the Titan Nova, so we're just going to run with that. Now according to Hikari, it is their top of the line LED headlight upgrade, and they have some pretty impressive published specifications, and I question how accurate they are. And after I do the unboxing, go over those published specs, and cover some of the features, I'm going to test these in both projector and reflector housings and we're going to learn just how accurate those published specifications are. Now let's get these out of the box and take a look. User manual. These are plug and play but it does give you some information including a question that I get asked a lot. How do you get the perfect beam? You want the chips to fire in the nine o'clock and three o'clock directions especially on a projector. Some basic information. Oh, and here they are. Let's start with the published specs. 65 watts each, 15,000 lumens each, and you're going to see that they publish 30,000 lumens to get your attention, but that's per pair. Now, if you think that 15,000 lumens each is an astonishingly high number, you're absolutely right. I have not tested a light yet with that high of a published number, but we're gonna see how the real numbers compare in a bit. Color temperature is 6,000K. The chip is called a Titan Nova chip, and I don't know if that's just a fancy name for an existing chip, but that's what Hikari calls it. Has an IP rating of 68, has an hour rating of 100,000, now it's published as that, but with a comma after the first zero, zero so I think it's a typo because 100,000 is too high, but 10,000 is low compared to other lights. It does have an adjustable collar, it is fan cooled, and it does have an external driver. The warranty on it is two years, which is higher than the average of a one year warranty that most lights have, and the price at the time of this video before discounts is $109.99 per pair. So let's get into my initial observations of this. The first thing that I want to point out that's pretty obvious is it has a rather unique design with these exposed copper tubes right there and right there and with this rib that it has right here. It's a little different. And I'm wondering if this rib might or might not help with light control. We're going to find out. Now in case you're wondering, according to the instructions, this rib is to be oriented on the bottom when positioned in your light housing. And something else I want to point out, this light looks almost exactly like another light that some of you suggested that I test, the Acuma H11. And based on the marketing images, they are indeed the same light with different branding. And this is not uncommon at all, but the Acuma version comes in at around $15 less per pair. So that's something to keep in mind. The materials and build feels pretty solid, but pretty average for a premium priced light. Braided cables are always a plus in my book, and the customer support sticker right here is also a bonus. The heat sink and fan area is on the shallow side, which is good for those who have shallow dust caps, and it should fit under most, but I can't guarantee it'll fit under all. And it does have the Hikari logo on it, which is a nice touch, and I kind of wonder what the Acuma version fan guard looks like. Now let's take a look at the driver. It's pretty slim. And it looks like it has a unique disconnect right here. Which is nice to know if you need warranty service, you can replace either the main unit or the driver instead of both. And like many lights, 
Not all, but some. You see it says DOT right there, D-O-T. Now, this can be a bit misleading because of the United States Department of Transportation. It's, it's not an approval agency, and they don't approve products. What they do is they issue safety standards, uh, including the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard 108, which applies to transportation industry lighting. So, as a reminder, except in fog light or off-road use, replacing factory halogen bulbs with LEDs in the U.S. is not currently legal nor a DOT-approved practice. Now, I mention this in every description of every video I make, but it's still important to know. But how does it test? Well, we're going to get to that in a minute. Now, if you're new to this channel, I made a short one-minute video that explains it all. So, see the link below, which is also in the description. As I mentioned, this video came as a suggestion by many of you who leave comments on my videos, which I love to see. And I'm really happy to spend the time, effort, and money to bring this video to you, and I just hope that some of you can help me out a bit in return. If you found this video valuable to enjoy in your car more, do me a favor. Click on the thumbs up, click on the thanks icon to directly support this channel, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell if you haven't already. And of course, you can visit my Patreon page to learn how you can support this channel for as little as a buck a month and get some cool car light reviews goods in return. Now, I really appreciate everyone's support for my videos. Even a buck or two adds up. And on a side note, would you believe that less than 10% of you viewing this right now are subscribed to this channel? I gotta ask, what is up with that? I mean, you don't want to be notified when my next videos are released? Bad idea, guys, because I got a lot more on the way that you're going to want to see. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. All right, enough of that. Let's see how the Hikari Titan Nova performed, starting with the projector test. 2,220 lux. 1,495 over the halogen 725 lux measurement. This is very, very bright and very, very impressive. It is just 10 lux behind my current initial projector brightness leader in this test, the X77 Apollo, and 30 lux higher than the very impressive X77 Aurora and Auxbeam GX. So even though it is in the second place in my testing for initial brightness, does it live up to the published and quite outrageous 15,000 lumen number each? Well, maybe. It depends on how those lumens are measured by the manufacturer, which is rarely published. But I would say, probably not. That's why I make these videos, to see how they actually measure up by comparison to the halogen light that comes with your cars. Anyway, let's, let's keep going. So after 27 minutes, the average commute time in the United States it retained a very impressive 85% of that light output, resulting in 1,887 lux over time, 1,162 over halogen. Well, guess what, guys? This is the brightest I have tested after 27 minutes in a projector, and by quite a bit. After 27 minutes in a projector, it is 267 lux brighter than my previous leader, the Auxbeam GX. This is a very powerful light. Now, let's compare the pattern to halogen. Well, the cutoff is good, the beam is full. I didn't have to aim the cutoff very high to get the hot spot on the lux sensor. The common weak spot right here isn't as weak as I would expect. Maybe it is the design of the rib along the bottom that's helping it, possibly. But yes, this does a very good job in a projector, but most lights do. So let's have a look at the reflector. 3,590 lux, 2,680 over the halogen, 910 lux in a reflector. Now this isn't as bright in a reflector as some of the other lights I've tested, at least for the initial reflector output. The X77 Apollo is quite a bit brighter in that regard. However, as I mentioned, this keeps a very remarkable 85% of that light over time, so after 27 minutes the Titan Nova closes that gap quite a bit, and it's reduced to 3,052 lux, 2,142 lux over halogen. Now, it's still not the brightest in a reflector over time, but it's definitely bright enough to get the job done. So now, let's see how it did in terms of accuracy compared to the halogen. Well, not bad. Not bad at all. And again, I wonder if that unique design is helping keep, to keep things accurate. I do see a bit of a thin spot right here, and it does get a little fuzzy here. But otherwise, it's pretty controlled, and the light band is very full, and it puts out a lot of light vertically compared to halogen. This light does very well in both projector and reflector. As mentioned, there is a published rating of 65 watts per light. I observed 56.9 in my test. For heat management, after 27 minutes of runtime, the average commute time in the United States, my FLIR thermal camera recorded 195 degrees Fahrenheit or 91 degrees Celsius for the main unit and 115 degrees Fahrenheit or 56 degrees Celsius for the driver. For as bright as this is, 
It runs very, very cool. In fact, it runs cooler than many of the lights I've tested, which in theory means better reliability in the long run. And as always, if you want to compare all the specifications on all the lights I've tested, I put a link in the description to a free spreadsheet that I update with every video release. Check it out. It'll really help you decide what light is best for you. Now, I have to be honest, in the previous Akari tests I performed, I just wasn't as impressed as I'd hoped to be, especially with how people seem to talk about them quite a bit. Now, I'm not saying that they're bad lights, but I just expected more from them. So I was really skeptical about buying and testing these because of the, those previous results. However, this one definitely lives up to the hype. It is dazzlingly bright in a projector, but maintains decent control of it. And while it's not the brightest in a reflector, it is still plenty bright and continues to maintain that control. Now, I do think that Hikari can be more honest with their published specifications, and also putting that DOT mark on the driver is a bit confusing. But if you can look past that, and you want the best overall premium light I have tested so far, in my opinion, this is the one. And if you must have it, and I suggest that you get it, but you need to save a few bucks, maybe you should check out that Acuma version that I mentioned, which may be a clone of this. Now, I haven't gotten my hands on one myself, but my gut tells me that they might be the same light. And by the way, if this is completely out of your budget, you might want to check out my review and test of the Fair Enforcer, which is my suggestion for the best overall budget LED light I've tested, at least so far. Now, it's not as bright as the Titan Nova, but it is also far less than half the cost. It has great light patterns, and it runs nice and cool. So check it out. I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. The Hikari Tight Nova is a very impressive light, and links to where you can buy it, as well as the Acuma version, are in the description along with links to the other videos I mentioned. Buying through those links supports this channel and my efforts at no additional cost to you. At all. Now, I'll be doing an end of the year awards video, and I think the Titan Nova is a contender for best projector output as well as brightest projector over time. Subscribe to find out if it takes that title. So, what do you think of the Hikari Titan Nova? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear them. And as I mentioned, you can also find a link in the description to that free spreadsheet that I update with every video release that shows the specs and results of all the lights I've tested, so you can compare this one with all the other ones. So, once again, click on the thumbs up the thanks icon, and be sure to subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't already. If you got a suggestion on what I should test in the future, please leave a comment and I'll check into it. As always, thank you for the suggestions and support, and thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you to find the right lighting upgrades for your needs so you can enjoy your car more and save you money. Keep your headlights aimed, drive safely, responsibly, and respectfully. <laughs>